everyone. Welcome to today's free flow activity and I'm going to show you how to make a glitter jar. So what you'll need is a an empty water bottle or jar from around your house so you could get it from the recycling or you could finish a drink that you've got in the fridge and then use that water bottle. I've got this one here and it needs to be um, it needs to be sort of half filled uh, roughly with water. Okay, you'll also need a piece of paper which I've made into a funnel shape. I'm gonna use that, put it in the top of my bottle to get the glitter inside there, okay? So what you'll need, some glitter as well and some washing up liquid, okay? Um, yes. So let's get started. What we have to do is, like I said, half full of water. And let me tilt you down a little bit so you can see. Half filled with water, yeah? Then I've got lots of different types of glitter. So I've got this glitter, which is quite, um, quite big pieces of glitter. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in try to do this somewhere where you won't make too much of a mess so the mums and dads don't get sad. Um, there we go, all of that glitter in there. Yeah, do you see that? It's sitting on top of the water. Okay, then I've got some really fine glitter. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of that in there. There it goes. And then also, just thought that I've got some nice, huge, Christmassy bits of glitter that I could put in there too. Maybe I could put those in without the funnel. So let's find some. Here we are. Stick them in there. A few more, I think. What do you think? I think the more glitter, the better. There we go. Then you'll need to just put just a tiny drop of fairy liquid or soap even will work into your bottle. And the last thing you need to do is top up your water bottle with water. Make make it full right to the top i hope i've got enough water Ooh. nearly there yay okay you can also put food coloring in here too and you can put all sorts of different colors of glitter um it's completely up to you so what you then need to do is put the lid on really tight maybe ask an adult to help you make it tight and then you've got your glitter jar and you can do all sorts of things with it shake it up <laughs> and make it spin like a vortex and these are especially good if you're feeling slightly sad maybe or um or you just need to take a few minutes, take a deep breath. What you can do is make sure all the glitter's settled at the bottom and then you turn it. And as you turn it, you take a deep breath in and then you watch the glitter fall and breathe out and try and make your breath last all the time that it takes for the glitter to fall. Sometimes these things, these glitter jars help me when I'm feeling a little bit sad. I turn it over, go, breathe in and breathe out. Do you see? And it kind of looks like the night sky as well. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. And I look forward to seeing some of your glitter jars on tapestry. Um, goodbye, you, you one. Well done. Bye.